welcome to West Country Wanderings. Today we're at Corton Court, which is just a couple of miles north of the Warwickshire town of Alcester. We're about 15 miles to the east of the city of Worcester and about 20, just over 20 miles south of the city of Birmingham. Today we're going to explore this fascinating National Trust place which has a huge parkland, it has wonderful gardens and fantastic history which links it to the English Civil War and the, go the uh, gunpowder plot. So why not join me and we'll have an explore around this wonderful place here in Warwickshire. If you follow my channel, you'll know that I'm in the middle of doing the Cotswold Way. Well, well over halfway now, making our way south to the city of Bath. Uh, but I've also realised that I am a member of the National Trust, and I think it renews in April for me anyway. And uh, I hadn't actually visited a National Trust property for some time since moving up to Gloucestershire. And I've been to some of the, I think I've been to all of them in Gloucestershire, in fact. Um, but I haven't been to the ones that are just outside the county, and this is just a bit further north from Gloucestershire, but not that far from Chipping Camden here either and at Corton Court I've not been here before so I thought I'd make use of my National Trust membership and take a visit here today now that the children have gone back and things are a lot quieter.
currently in the peaceful orchard which lies behind side St Peter's Church while we're here. I thought I'd just share with you some of the key facts around the history of the house. In 1409, one John Throckmorton married Eleanor de Spinney and in doing so he became heir to the Corton estate here. And uh, just nearly 70 years later he rebuilt St Peter's Church which is the nearest one currently a Church of England church next to Corton Court. In the 1530s the Reformation in England caused Henry VIII to have a rift with the Roman Catholic Church and in 1583 the Throckmorton plot fails to overthrow Elizabeth I and replace her with Mary, Queen of Scots. Now the key link to Corton Court is in 1605 the gunpowder plot happens trying to assassinate James I by blowing up Parliament. Six of the plotters are descendants of the Throckmortons and Corton Court here in Warwickshire was used as a safe house. During the English Civil War 1642 to 1649 Corton was occupied by the hostile parliamentary soldiers and left very badly damaged. In 1685 Catholic James II becomes king and the Throckmortons are back in favour. In 1688, however, King James II forcibly removed, during the Glorious Revolution, East Wing Catholic Chapel destroyed by the Protestant mob from Alcester, giving Corton Court its current three-sided layer, which explains why it has such an unusual shape from the outside. In 1780, Sir Robert IV Baronet Throck, Sir Robert Throckmorton restores and extends the house, including using rubble from the 1688 attack to fill in the moat. In 1829, the Catholic Emancipation Act ends much of the state persecution of Catholics and allows, finally, a greater freedom of worship, the first time since the Reformation back in the 1530s. In 1855, Sir Robert's Catholic Church of St Peter, St Paul and St Elizabeth is completed, which we're going to have a look at next. In 1934, with the family's wealth gone, large parts of Corton's estate up to Spurnell and Arcester are sold at auction. In 1946, Lady Lillian Hans handles Corton Court to the National Trust, receiving a 300-year lease for the Throckmortons to continue to live at Corton.
Now you haven't suddenly jumped to uh, the Cotswold Wave Log. We're still here at uh, Corton Court where it's a huge estate that uh, envelops the, uh, the gardens and I've uh, just gone for a walk around. It follows the uh, River Arrow and uh, it's got me thinking about um, my next plans for the springtime. I've mentioned doing the Severn Way and uh, which would be a huge commitment because it's over 200 miles long following the whole length of the river and there's a couple of other walks that go starting the Cotswolds uh, from Bolton on the Water and head up through the Arrow Valley and beyond into North Warwickshire and I've been thinking about doing those because they're a little bit closer to home and also they don't involve trekking into to farthest reaches of Wales although I do enjoy Wales I'm um, just thinking geographically they, they, so what we're looking at here is the Arden Way and the Heart of England Way so if you, either anybody that's watching this has done those uh, trails or walks in this part of the wood I'd be very much to uh, hear from you be very grateful for that if you could just drop a comment below really appreciate it so yeah so we're here still here at Colton Court uh, it's just absolutely fabulous views here we're in uh, rural rustic Warwickshire uh, the views are really really delightful though there are a few people around the uh, the walled garden area of uh, Colton uh, most of the other areas are pretty quiet at the moment and um, you can get around uh, quite easily without uh, worrying about crowds and COVID and that, that type of thing. I will be heading back in a minute for a cup of tea. When I finish uh, exploring here, I am allowed to take photographs inside, not video, so I'll take some photographs inside when I go inside uh, the house, the court. I'll do that and I'll do uh, put some titles up so you know what room you're in and a little bit of history about it, as uh, much as I can see. So uh, I'll do that and then uh, after we've uh, finished here at Corton Court today, that won't be the end of the vlog because we're going to head into Ulcester. Um, it'll be towards the evening so hopefully the town's got a bit quieter and we're going to have a look around at some of the uh, buildings uh, that uh, this fascinating Warwickshire town here. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Colton Court. 
We're going to now move on towards the town of Alcester here in Warwickshire. Well, I hope you enjoyed that wonderful tour of Alcester. I certainly enjoyed walking around the streets of Alcester. I found it a beautiful town. Been here before many years ago and uh, thought it would be a good idea to come back and combine it with the trip to Court and Court. So I hope you enjoyed both trips today. I'm at the River Arrow Country Park just outside the town. Wonderful setting here. I'll just quickly show you around before I say goodbye. really enjoyed my day out here in Warwickshire. Just before I go, just to tell you something, um, one of my followers uh, who also has a YouTube channel, a gentleman called Roy Edwards. Hi Roy, um, he's from this part of the world and he did a vlog, I think it was about a month or so ago now, and also it appears on a, another channel that I follow, which I've forgotten the exact name, I'll drop it in below, and it covers uh, old Alcester in terms of photographs of this town. Really interesting. Uh, if you like comparing old and the new, it's a wonderful channel to follow, even if you don't live locally. Uh, really, really interesting. Anyway, um, a few weeks ago, an old railway bridge was uncovered near here and I've taken a photograph, I'll just drop it in roundabout now. As I was taking those photographs, a workman came up to me, I was thinking, oh no, here we go, he's gonna tell me to stop uh, taking photographs. He actually said, uh, uh, best get those photographs in now because the whole lot's gonna be demolished. There is a new housing development there and they've just uh, worked a new contract with the developer to demolish that railway bridge. And the fact the old railway line just comes in behind and over the bridge behind me. I'll just show you that railway bridge just as a closing shot here on the vlog today. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the uh, tour in Warwickshire today. It's the first time West Country Wanderings has been to Warwickshire. I'm sure it won't be the last and so this will be under my other counties section if you're looking for it in the, my channel on the, uh, the web page there on YouTube. Until next time, take care of yourselves. All the best and hope to see you all again soon. Cheers. Bye for now.